Hello everybody and welcome back to Synapse. This is Ritika and in this video we shall talk about muscle spindle and stretch reflex. Muscle spindles are small spindle shaped structures widely distributed in muscle. Each muscle spindle contains many muscle fibers known as the intrafusal fibers while the extrafusal fibers are seen outside the muscle spindles and they constitute the major muscle mass. We have two types of intrafusal fibers. One, we have the nuclear bag fibers, which have a dilated center containing a bunch of nuclei. This can be subdivided into dynamic and the static fibers. Secondly, we have nuclear chain fibers, in which the nuclei are arranged in a chain. The sensory innovation of the muscle spindle includes the primary and the secondary sensory fibers. Primary fibers or the 1A fibers represented in red innervate the center of the spindles. These nerves from the dynamic muscle fibers discharge more rapidly during the stretch of the muscle, while the nerves from the static muscle fibers discharge more rapidly during sustained stretch. The secondary fibers represented in green innervate only the static fibers and not the dynamic fibers. These nerves terminate on the alpha motor neurons supplying the extrafusal fibers of the same muscle. The motor supply to the muscle spindle is provided by the gamma motor neurons. Gamma 1 for the dynamic and gamma 2 for the static fibers. You must note here that the intrafusal muscle fibers contract only at the ends and not at the center. When the intrafusal fibers contract as a consequence of the gamma motor neuron stimulation, there is no significant change in the length of the muscle. As the intrafusal fibers are neither in sufficient number, nor do they have enough contractile power. So, when gamma motor neurons are stimulated, this would lead to the contraction of the ends of the spindle, which exerts a stretch on the center of the spindle. This stimulates the sensory fibers innervating the spindle, which are already, which as already mentioned, terminates on the alpha motor neurons. Thus, as a consequence of alpha motor neuron stimulation, there is contraction of the extrafusal fibers and thus the entire muscle. So this means that the extrafusal fibers can be contracted either by direct alpha motor neuron stimulation or indirectly by gamma motor neuron stimulation. At this point, I think it is very clear that the function of muscle spindle is to identify the degree and rate of stretch in the muscle and it aids in adjusting the movements according to the exact requirements. There are several centers in the CNS that have either stimulatory or inhibitory effect on the muscle spindle and usually the net effect is inhibition. And thus, in upper motor neuron lesions, there is increased sensitivity of muscle spindle due to lack of inhibition. Let's just integrate all of this in an example of stretch reflex or a deep tendon reflex as a final takeaway lesson from this video. Let's take the example of a knee jerk reflex. When we tap on the tendon of quadriceps, the muscle experiences a sudden stretch. The intrafusal fibers within the muscle spindle also experiences the stretch. This stimulates the sensory neurons which in the spinal cord terminates on the alpha motor neurons for the same muscle. Thus there is contraction of the extrafusal fibers of the same muscle. That is in this example the quadriceps muscle. And I think it is needless to say that this reflex is important in order to prevent the muscle damage due to sudden stretch. I would like to conclude by saying that the application of muscle spindle is to make movements and positions more precise and in stretch reflex. That's all in this video guys. If you found it useful, do like the video and if you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at LearnSynapse. If you have any suggestions for the next video, tap them up in the comment section or message us on Instagram. Bye-bye.